Scott Lacey, The Sporting Chef. Brought to you by Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. You know, you can save a whole bunch of money by making your own jerky. And better than saving money is you can make jerky taste exactly the way you want it. And there's a couple different ways to make jerky. You can do the whole muscle meat here, like this venison here. And this is a venison, kind of a tri-tip area, lower sirloin area. It's very firm, um, it's grainy, it's not fatty. This other stuff here, I've got ground venison and some ground wild boar that's going to be mixed together. A lot of questions about cures and, you know, making just the right balance of cure and will I get sick and all this kind of stuff. Look, uh, there's a product, High Mountain Seasoning makes all these different jerky seasonings, like this one right here jalapeno blend. We've got a pepperoni blend. There's inferno blend. There's a whole bunch. There's so many different flavors. There's something here that you're going to like. And you can always take the high mountain blends and add whatever else you want to it to make it your own. But I'm telling you, it's perfect just like it is. And in each packet, you've got the flavoring here, this, and then you also have the cure. Um, and it has this whole list of instructions here, which actually look more complicated than they are. This is how to make it from whole muscle meat. It tells you exactly how much cure, how much seasoning to mix. Very, very simple. If you're going to use ground, they tell you how to do that too. It could not be easier. Again, this is venison, wild boar, ground up. More venison than wild boar. I don't want it to be too fatty. And this is about two pounds. Weighing it really, really helps if you have a scale. But if you don't, two cups of meat equals a pound. I've got two pounds here. Okay, for the cure, I have one tablespoon and one teaspoon. And for the seasoning, I have one tablespoon and two teaspoons. I added a little bit more of the seasoning because I really like the jalapeno blend. It's not screaming hot. For every pound of meat, you want to add a quarter cup of cold water because you want to make sure that the cure and the seasoning is distributed evenly. I'm going to make a mess here. Ground meat that I've put with the jerky mix, that's been in the refrigerator for four hours. I'm going to put that into the jerky gun over here. But first, I've got to do some slicing with this whole muscle meat. So I have the high mountain jerky board, jerky knife, and a little something to hold down the meat so that it doesn't cut through my hands. What's cool about this is this will give you even thickness on the meat that you have. And this is almost a quarter inch thick here anyway. You just want to hold down the meat here and you run the knife across the board thusly. And if you get a thicker piece of venison, it actually kind of works a little easier, but you get the idea. If it's of even thickness, you won't have a undercooked piece on one side and an overcooked piece on another. I can probably get one more out of here. Now the instructions for the whole muscle meat, you mix the cure exactly as per the specifications with the seasonings. And again, it tells you how much of this to mix for this much meat. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on evenly. This is the pepperoni blend, so which is kind of a cool deal, and I've had this before, pepperoni flavored jerky. I've got this sliced whole muscle meat that I've seasoned with the cure and the seasoning, the pepperoni blend. This goes into a bag like this, or you, you can wrap it in plastic wrap, and it goes into the refrigerator for 24 hours. I've found that 24 hours when you use the jerky board so that you make sure it's of even thickness works just great. Now, the cool invention here. This is the jerky gun. This makes it easy to use that ground meat. And if you like jerky, a little bit chewier, if you want to spend a little bit more time with it, go with the whole muscle meat. If you like your jerky more tender, then go with the ground. This has been refrigerated for four hours. And basically you just roll this up into little balls and load the gun. And we got a little tamper that'll get it down there. All right. See this guy right here? That's your, the flat jerky attachment. I have a jerky screen, lightly oiled. All right, this is gonna go into the smoker along with the whole muscle meat. The ground meat's gonna be more tender. The whole muscle meat is gonna be a little chewier. I loaded the whole muscle and the ground jerky into the Camp Chef pellet grill and smoker and the ground is gonna go faster than the whole muscle. The whole muscle jerky is gonna take a while longer for it to penetrate. The whole point of jerky is to remove the moisture from the meat so that it's dried out. And you don't really have to worry too much about um, having jerky spoil on you. 
All you have to do is vacuum pack it and refrigerate it. Um, I put it in my pack. I don't go anywhere unless I've got some, if I'm gonna go duck hunting, this is in my blind bag, I guarantee. And all the friends that I hunt with say, man, what kind of jerky do you have this week? Here's some in a bowl for you that wanna just have a little snack. This goes into the pack. If you're gonna be out there for a while, I like to freeze this first, then put it into the pack. Again, I'm Scott Laysef. I want you to check out sportingchef.com. And thanks to all the people that made today's show possible.